hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning into today's video welcome 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 back i know it's been a minute but we're here to show you a tutorial today on how i achieve my bantu knots so these are the products and tools that i use to prep my hair i will leave all the descriptions of the products down below so you guys know what to look for so this section is just a section i left on camera to show you guys how i prep my hair after i washed it i let it dry overnight and i'm now just taking out my flat twist with the do grow hair cream that i used and um, just make sure it's still moisturized, I don't, you don't want to work on dry hair. And then I put my Do Grow Mega Growth Oil throughout the hair and my scalp and massage it in. I'm now using my spray bottle, um, full of water of course, just to help soften my hair because I am going to blow dry it next and detangle it to help stretch my hair out a bit more. So I'm just using my white tooth comb to get the little stragglies and tangles out because you want the hair to be soft and smooth and free of issues. So now I'm using my Con Air Paddle Brush Blow Dryer to stretch my hair out and blow dry it. Using my shears to snip off my ends, just any ends that I feel are kind of like giving me a tough time, I don't mind snapping it off myself. And onto the braiding hair, this is from the Zuri, the Zuri Hollywood Braid Collection. Um, it comes five pieces in one pack it's pre-stretched it is actually very soft easy to use easy on the hands i got it in the color two which i actually wish i would have gotten it in the color one or one b just so that it was much more closer to my natural hair color but it still worked just fine like you couldn't really tell the difference so i also went ahead and did my sections off camera um, but these are how i sectioned my hair i did five in the front i did a total of about 12 or 11 something like that um, off camera and did the two pieces on the side which you'll see where the beads kind of hang and flow guys when I tell you it was kind of difficult for me to figure out how to braid the side piece down it was not a joke for some reason like I had to mentally think about like how does one braid this piece down but once I figured it out um, I was just really pleased and so that's what it looks like and I'm just braiding it all the way down Guys, so I was doing this section and my nail broke. Mm. <laughs> okay, so first Bantu knot. So I put my Eco Styler Gel um, to lay my flyaways down and brush it and make sure it's nice and neat. And then I took my large rubber band and I doubled it. And then I just, you know, put the hair in the rubber band and make sure it's pretty taut, not too tight. It might look tight, but it wasn't really tight. I then take my braiding hair and divide it into two. I took about medium sections, more about medium to large, um, just because I wanted them to be big pieces of Bantu knots. And then I section my hair within the section into three, the same way I'm gonna braid it. So I take the braiding hair and my hair, and I put them into the three sections of hair. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense what I'm saying, please just look at what I'm doing. But this is how I went ahead and braided it. So at this point, you'll see me kind of smoothing my natural hair with the braiding hair multiple times. What I was really trying to do was like turn my hair, my natural hair within the braiding hair so that I don't have flyaways or so that my natural hair isn't sticking out of the of the braid itself. So you just really want to make sure you gather everything really nice and neat and tight so that you don't have extra hair hanging out or your natural hair hanging out. And then since I wanted the bantu knot to be long and big, um, I added some hair as you can see at this point and then I just continued to braid it all the way down. So 
So here I'm just showing you once again how I braided the section before, you know, getting the bantu knot going. And the braid doesn't have to be so perfect as long as it looks decent enough to wrap. As you can see, I have like some uneven bits, but I wasn't too worried about it because they're not gonna be single braids. But I did start to look at it and be like, hmm, I could probably leave my hair like this. <laughs> okay, so now for the fun part, which is creating the Bantu knot. You're just gonna take the braid itself and wrap it upon itself or wrap it on itself. Um, you want to do that up until you get to the very last bit and then to seal it so it doesn't actually like move or fall or unravel I went ahead and used a straight needle and some hair thread and just sewed it into itself so that it stays intact because again especially with the size of my braids and bantu I didn't want it falling off or you know looking crazy so you want to just you know take an extra precaution and sew it in place and I just kept sewing it through the knot multiple times. Yay, so I finally had all my knots completed. Now it's time to add the beads and give the hair some decor, some spice, some oomph. You guys, this process was probably the most difficult process. I don't know if I was just hungry that day or confused <laughs> guys it was so bad it took me like an hour or two just to do that part i don't know what was going on i don't know what was going through my head but guess what we move <laughs> so here's the final look i absolutely love this hairstyle it just looks so cute thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful um don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next one